Hello students, welcome back to our YouTube channel Alisha Maths Classes. So today we are going to start exercise 7.5 of class 12th that is based on partial fraction and we have already introduced the topic of exercise 7.5 and we have done up to question number 12. So those who want to see that solution of question number 1 to 12 they can see the description is given in the i link and the questions uh, description of the remaining question is given in the description box. So you can just see from there. So let's start from question number 13. This is integration of 2 upon 1 minus x into 1 plus x square dx. So already students, so I have given you the brief introduction in the starting of the video in which we have done question number 1 to question number 6. So I told you everything about when we are having a linear and quadratic factor in the denominator, how to do this type of question. So without wasting the time, let us start by using partial fraction we will write down in the exam also whatever method we are going to use we have to mention that method by using partial fraction now we know that by partial fraction we can write down this function as one is a linear factor and one is a quadratic factor so i told you that you have to always take one degree less than the denominator we have to take a constant in the numerator which is exactly one degree less than the denominator so this is a linear equation or having degree one so we have to take a constant here and second is a quadratic equation that means we have to take a linear equation in the numerator that is bx plus c now same as it is we have to find out the value of a b and c so i am taking lcm by shortcut method so just do the cross multiply and the lcm will be cancelled by this lcm so you don't need to do that step you can do it directly now for the first factor you know that when 1 minus x is equal to 0 so we get put uh, we get x is equal to 1 so we are going to put x is equal to 1 in this equation left hand side is not going to change it will remain same that is 2 and in the right hand side it will become 0 because 1 minus 1 is going to be 0 so 1 plus 1 becomes 2 so here we get the value of a is equal to 1 now the remaining thing is that we have to find out the value of the constants b and c also. So how to do this? Because if I will put 1 plus x square is equal to 0 then I will get x square is equal to minus 1 or x is equal to plus minus iota. That means roots are uh, the value of x is going to be imaginary. So it doesn't work for that we have to do the comparison method. So from equation 2 we will just expand equation number 2. So we get 2 is equal to see if i am going to expand it i will get a plus a x square plus b x into 1 is going to be b x b x minus x is b x square c into 1 is going to be c and c into minus x is going to be c x now just take the coefficient of x square that is a minus b now just take coefficient of x that is b minus c and finally the constant term that is a plus c now we have to compare the coefficients of x square x in constant sum as there is no term in the left hand side containing x square this implies a minus b is equal to 0 already we have put a we have found a is equal to 1 so putting a is equal to 1 we get also b is equal to 1 that's it we got the value of b also similarly we have to find out the value of c also now from this equation this is the coefficient of x that is b minus c and here we are not having any term of x so that implies b minus c is also 0 now we have found b is equal to 1 so if i'll put b is equal to 1 here so c is also equal to 1 so that means in this equation a b c all are equal to 1 so just substitute the value of a b and c in this equation number 1 so we'll write down from equation 1 what we what do we get we get integration of 1 upon 1 minus x dx plus this is going to be 1 into x that is x plus 1 upon 1 plus x square x plus 1 upon 1 plus x square dx now the integration of this is going to be log of 1 minus x but don't forget to write down the coefficient of x in the denominator here the coefficient of x is minus 1 so that means i will just put minus 1 here in the denominator and we have to uh, split this integral into two parts so we will get x upon 1 plus x square dx plus integration of 1 upon 1 plus x square dx we have done many questions of this type 
now you know that this is the function and this is actually in the form of the derivative or you can do one step also uh, as you know that the derivative of 1 plus x square is going to be 2x so I'm just doing shortcut just multiply it by 2 and divide by 2 in that manner I will just get the de derivative of the denominator in the numerator and the integration of 1 upon 1 plus x square is going to be 10 inverse x plus c so the final answer is going to be as you know that if I will take 1 plus x square is equal to t so 2x dx is equal to dt so dt upon t that means log t so the final you can just write down like this log of 1 plus x square plus 10 inverse x plus c so this is our final answer please note down so students let's see question number 14 that is integration of 3x minus 1 upon x plus 2 whole square so in this question you can see that we are having a linear factor in the denominator but it is in the form of power so how to do this question let's see you can either use the partial fraction or you can just split the term just see here what I am going to do, I have just split this integral into two parts. So I have split this integral into two parts. To make the same factor in the denominator, I am just going to do adding and subtracting by 2. I am using a different method for this question so that you can be able to know that these type of questions we can do by some other method also. Uh, Although you can apply here uh, partial fraction method, but this is much more simpler because we don't need to find out the value of a, b and c. Now just split this integral into two parts. One is x plus 2 upon x plus 2 whole square dx and the other one is 2 into 2 is a constant so better to take it outside 1 upon x plus 2 whole square dx bracket close minus integration of 1 upon x plus 2 whole square dx so this is shortcut method whenever you can apply this method only when you are having a linear factor in the denominator which is in the form of power and we are not having any other factor if we are having two terms which are in the form of factor then definitely we have to use partial fraction so 1 power will be cancelled x plus 2 will be cancelled by x plus 2 and we are remaining with only 1 power that is x plus 2 dx and uh, I am just I am just opening this 3 into this is going to be this now 3 into minus 2 is going to be minus 6 and finally minus integration of 1 upon x plus 2 whole square dx as you can see that the, both these integrals are same so we can just combine minus 6 minus 1 is going to be minus 7 so this is going to be minus 7 so see how simply we have split this integral without using partial fraction method and the integration of 1 upon x plus 2 is very simple that is log of x plus 2 and this is in the form of linear function with the power so we have to apply the formula of integration of x s to power n so for that we can just write down this function in the form of x plus 2 raised to power minus 2x just to show that this function is in the form of power so we can apply the formula of integration of x s to power n upon x s to power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 so this is going to be x plus 2 raised to power minus 2 plus 1 upon minus 2 plus 1 plus c because this is a linear function having the degree of x is equal to 1 although it is in the form of power but this is linear function so whenever we having a linear function we have to use the formula of integration of integration x is to power n that is x is to power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 so the final answer is 3 times log of x plus 2 minus 2 plus 1 is going to be minus 1 minus minus is going to be plus 7 and this x plus 2 raised to power minus 2 plus 1 is going to be x plus 2 raised to power minus 1 which can be written as 1 upon x plus 2 because power is going to be minus 1 so to make it positive we just write down in the denominator so this is final answer 3 times log x plus 2 plus 7 upon x plus 2 plus c 
सो स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 15 सो लेट्स सी दिस इज द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ 1 अपॉन x इज टू पावर 4 माइनस 1 सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑल्दो इट इज नॉट गिवन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फैक्टर्स यू हैव टू मेक द फैक्टर्स एंड यू कैन इजीली मेक द फैक्टर हियर x इज टू पावर 4 कैन बी रिटन एज x इज टू पावर स्क्वायर होल रेस्ट टू पावर स्क्वायर एंड 1 कैन बी रिटन एज 1 होल स्क्वायर सो यूजिंग द आइडेंटिटी ऑफ a स्क्वायर माइनस b स्क्वायर व्हिच इज इक्वल टू a प्लस b इनटू a माइनस b सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी This is going to be x square plus one into x square minus one dx. Now it can be further simplified in the form of x square plus one will remain as it is because there is no formula for a square plus b square. But it can be further simplified by using a square minus b square, which is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Now this is the final form of the factors in the denominator one is two are linear factors and one is a quadratic factor so always try to make a linear or a quadratic factor if you have a make if you have make a cubic factor that it will not work in case of integration so because we are not having any particular formula for the cubic equation in the denominator so we have to make only linear and quadratic this thing you have to remember students So just write down by partial fraction as written written in the shortcut formula PF that is partial fraction. So it can be written as see first factor is a quadratic equation so it can be written as AX plus B upon X square plus one. Second one is a linear factor so just take a constant. Also the fourth one is a third one is also a linear factor. So take another constants. That is x minus one. Now just need to take the LCM. So the shortcut method is that a x plus b will be multiplied by this into this. Similarly, c will be multiplied by this into this. And finally, d will be multiplied by this into this. so now we need to find out the value of a b c and d so clearly these are two linear factors from which we can get x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 1 because as i will put x plus 1 is equal to 0 i will get x is equal to minus 1 so just put x is equal to minus 1 and put x is equal to 1 in this way we can find out the value of two constants over here so left hand side is not going to be changed it is going to be one only If I will put minus one here, so this factor completely becomes zero. Minus one plus one is going to be zero. Minus one plus one is going to be zero. So remaining, I left with only c constant. Minus one whole square is going to be one plus one, that is two. And minus one and minus one is going to be minus two. So the value of c is equal to minus one by four. Now, if I put x is equal to one, then this factor is going to be zero. This factor is also going to be zero, so I left over with only d. So if I'll put x is equal to one, so one plus one is going to be two, and this is also going to be two. So the value of d is also equal to one by four. So here we have found the value of c and d only, but we have to find out the value of a and b also. So for that we have to do the comparison method definitely. Otherwise we are not able to. we are not able to find out the value of a and b also now just open this equation first of all mark this equation as 1 and mark this equation as 2 so now we have to expand this equation i am expanding here so this is going to be ax plus b and x plus 1 into x minus 1 can be written as x square minus 1 c into x into x x square into x is going to be x cube x square into minus x is going to be minus x square 1 into x is going to be plus x and minus 1 into plus 1 is going to be minus 1 finally d is going to be x square into x x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 so now we have to make the coefficients of x cube x square x and constant so i'm doing directly here first of all just think about where we are going to get the coefficient of x cube see here when i will multiply ax into x square that will be ax cube so i get a similarly i will get c and here d 
now it's time to make the coefficients of x square x square is going to be b into x square is going to be b c into minus x square is going to be minus c x square and d into x square is going to be plus d finally the terms containing x so the terms containing x is going to be ax into minus 1 is going to be minus a c into plus x is going to be plus c and d into x is going to be plus d finally all the constant terms in this equation that is b into minus 1 is going to be minus b c into minus 1 is going to be minus c and finally d into 1 is going to be plus d so these are the terms i have found out you can just see here that uh, we have made the coefficients of x cube x square x and constants now we have to just find out by by comparison method so by comparing by comparing you can see that there is no term containing x cube in the left hand side so definitely a plus c plus d is going to be zero so a if i put the value of c is equal to minus 1 by 4 and the value of d is going to be 1 by 4 so i'll get a is equal to 0 similarly now we have to find out the value of b also so by comparing the coefficients of x square that is b minus c plus d is also going to be 0 so b minus c c is minus 1 by 4 it will become plus 1 by 4 and d is also 1 by 4 so from here i'll get b is equal to minus 1 by 2 because 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is going to be 2 by 4 and 2 by 4 definitely becomes minus 1 by 2 so here we get the value of a b c and d now just use in this formula from equation 1 the value of a is equal to 0 so 0 into something is going to be 0 definitely b is minus 1 by 2 so just take minus 1 by 2 outside integration of 1 upon x square plus 1 dx c is a constant so you can take it outside minus 1 by 4 integration of 1 upon x plus 1 dx and d is 1 by 4 so just take it outside and integration of 1 upon x minus 1 dx so here integration of x square plus 1 this is of the form of x square plus a square with and the formula is 1 upon a tan inverse x upon a a is here 1 so it finally forms tan inverse x minus 1 by 4 the integration of 1 upon x plus 1 is going to be log x plus 1 and this is log x minus 1 finally the constant of integration that is c now you can further simplify see both the coefficients are same in this equation so you can take 1 by 4 common outside and it will become log of first of all i am writing the positive term so log of mod x minus 1 minus log of x plus 1 so this is in the form of log m minus log n so answer is log m by n so the final answer is minus half of 10 inverse x plus 1 by 4 log x minus 1 upon x plus 1 plus c so this is the answer please note down so student this is question number 16 integration of 1 upon x into x is to power n plus 1 plus x is to power n plus 1 first of all we can't make a factor of x is to power n plus 1 so we have to think about something else now you know that the derivative of x is to power n is going to be n x is to power n minus 1. So this is the hint that you have to just identify that to make the derivative in the numerator we will multiply numerator as well as denominator by x is to power n plus 1. So this is the thing that we have to remember. So please mark this hash and ptr that is point to remember here. So this is going to be x is to power n minus 1 upon now this is the two terms which i am multiplying and so students when we will multiply these both terms this is a raised to power m into a raised to power n which is going to raise to, which is going to be a raised to power m plus n so n minus 1 plus 1 becomes n so that's it now you get the idea that we are going to put x is to power n is equal to t so from here if we will differentiate both sides then I will get n into x is to power n minus 1 dx is equal to dt. So this implies x is to power n minus 1 dx is going to be 1 by n dt. Okay. 
so see here this is this is the term in the numerator as it is so just substitute the value 1 by n dt upon this is t so just put t into t plus 1 so very simple now you can use partial fraction method to split these terms into two parts or you can do it directly also just by hit and trial means you know that you have to make the numerator is equal to 1 so if you will do t plus 1 minus t here I have done by hit and trial you can use partial fraction also just by looking uh, over this I have just found that numerator is equal to 1 so it is 1 so to introduce the t I have one uh, I have added t and subtracted t so without using some questions are like that you can if you'll do the practice now you will be able to understand how to split this term without using partial factors fractions because partial fractions will help you to split this integral into two parts so you can also use by hit and trial just see the form and you can split the integral so one is t plus one upon t into t plus one dt minus integration of t upon t into t plus 1 dt see how simply we have split this integral into two parts so now t plus 1 will be cancelled by t plus 1 and the game is over so we have just found the integration with the very simple method t will be cancelled by t and so here we get only t plus 1 and we know that the integration of 1 by t is going to be log t and this is going to be log of t plus 1 plus the final integration is uh, constant of integration c again it is in the form of log m minus log n which is going to be log m by n plus c and finally don't forget to replace the value of t here t is x is to per n so just replace x is to per n upon x is to per n plus 1 plus c this is our final answer please note down so students next is integration of cos x upon 1 minus sin x into 2 minus sin x again you can see that this is a question of previous type also so here in the denominator i am having a function sin x whose derivative is there in the numerator so just put x is equal to sorry sin x is equal to t so i'll get here cos x dx is equal to dt so simply this integral has been changed into cos x dx is dt and this is 1 minus t into 2 minus t. So this is that simple you can just identify by using partial fraction. This can be split into two parts although I can use by hit and trial also but for your clarification I am going to use partial fraction. So this is same as we have to use, we have used uh, previous concepts. So just do the cross multiply and you have taken the LCM and you have cut it in the denominator. All the steps you have done in the same way. Now just for simplification for one time you will put t is equal to 1 and definitely one time we will put t is equal to 2 as in factors in the uh, denominator is 1 minus t so when you put 1 minus t is equal to 0 so here i get t equals to 1 and from here i get t equal to equals to 2 so if i'll put t is equal to 1 this factor is going to be 0 so clearly i'll get a is equal to 1 if i'll put to a uh, t is equal to 2 that means this factor is going to be 0 and 1 minus 2 is going to be minus 1 so that means it becomes minus b or the value of b is equal to minus 1 so this is that simple you have just seen now just put the value in equation 1 it becomes the value of a is 1 upon 1 minus t dt and the value of b is minus 1 upon 2 minus t dt so it's very simple to do the integration of these functions that is log 1 minus t but don't forget to put the coefficient of t here in the denominator that is minus 1 and this is going to be log of 2 minus t same here the coefficient of t is here minus 1 so just put minus 1 in the denominator plus constant of integration that is c so it will become minus of log 1 minus sin x just replace the value of t is equal to sin x and minus minus become plus log of 
टू माइनस साइन एक्स प्लस सी सो इट बिकम्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लॉग एम माइनस लॉग एन विच इज गोइंग टू बी लॉग एम बाय एन सो एम इज टू माइनस साइन एक्स अपॉन वन माइनस साइन एक्स प्लस सी दिस इज द फाइनल आंसर